Hurricane Irma battered Key Biscayne, Florida, flooding parts of the island, which is just a stone's throw from Miami. But big storms are not the only thing that causes water levels to rise. The highest tides of the year, known as king tides, are a big problem as well. Depending on where you are, anywhere from a few inches to maybe a foot of flooding on the key. And that didn't used to be the case several years ago. Ramya Sindaram is with the Key Biscayne Community Foundation, a nonprofit that works with residents to solve environmental problems. Looking at what Miami Beach has been doing and what they've had to deal with, we thought it was a good idea to address it for Key Biscayne. These so-called sunny day floods have been increasing in and around Miami Beach for decades. In 2014, Miami Beach launched a $500 million plan to fight it. South Florida is one of the areas around the world most vulnerable to sea level rise. Now there is a new technology that can help folks here and around the country see into the future. That technology is used by a company called Coastal Risk Consulting. Key Biscayne hired them to take a look at the flood potential here and find creative ways to beat it. Our modeling showed that this is at risk of tidal flooding because the water table is shallow and so you have water coming in through the drains and out into the streets. Over the next 30 years, that tidal flooding is only going to increase as sea levels rise. At 2045, if nothing is done, then yeah, practically every street will be flooded multiple times a year, particularly during king tide season. Risk assessment on such a hyper-local level is a new concept this three-year-old company hopes will catch on, using forward-looking data to provide house-to-house -house information. The city of Key Biscayne is now looking at their options, like those pumps you saw on Miami Beach, or even gradually raising the roads. Most people understand that it's a problem and they want to do something to fix it and they want to help. But some homeowners think it's too much information. They worry if they know the flooding risk, their property value will go down. That's a big concern and uh, that's why a lot of the realtors don't want to touch this because you know they have a lot of hoops to go through before they make a sale and they don't want to add another wrinkle to the process. This company's mission is to help people get climate ready and storm safe. And uh, it doesn't help if you just ignore the problem.